Hi, this is a brief video tutorial for the Tachyon XC 3D Video Maker. First, fire up the program. And now you want to load left and right videos that you recorded on your left and right video cameras. Load the left by clicking on the L. You'll see I've already labeled the, the two video files as tutorial left and tutorial right. You should also do the same with your video files. Okay, load the left and load the right. There you go. Now you see down here the question mark. That will bring up a very detailed help file that will show you almost everything that I'm talking about here. And over here on the info icon, that will allow you to register your program. This check mark will get us started editing 3D video. Let's click that. All right, this is the editing screen. Up here you see your left video again, and here your right, and down here is the screen where the two videos are combined. We're working in the anaglyph mode now. You can see the anaglyph icon here. This, that's what you use for the red and blue glasses that came with your 3D camera. If you would like, you could edit with your glasses on, but it's not really necessary. Now the first thing that you should be doing is to synchronize your videos, because sometimes when you start the camera with your remote, the videos don't start at exactly the same time, and we need to be exactly synchronized to make good 3D video. Now if we're off by just one frame, that's only 1 30th of a second, but that can make quite a difference, especially if you have some fast action going on. So what you want to do is find a part of the video where there is some movement, such as a bird flying, a, a ball being thrown, or somebody walking. Now let's go, let's move the slider down here. All right, you can see this guy is walking up the stairs. Now you see here, the red is way out in front of the white. And up here, on the left frame, his foot is ahead of, of where it is over here on the right frame. That means the right frame is one or maybe two frames behind the left frame. So with this frame selected, we go down here to this, this arrow here. You can see it will forward the frame one at a time, or if you hold the shift key by many frames. But now let's just do one at a time. There's one. You can see the foot has moved forward, but it's not quite there with the other one. And down here you can see that they're also not matching. Let's move one more. And there you go. Now you're in sync. Alright, after you're in sync, what you want to do next is to align the videos. When the videos are well aligned, it makes viewing them a lot easier. And you do your alignment with these arrow keys over here on the right. It doesn't matter which window you select, you can be on any one of them. Now you see here where the trousers meet the shirt. They're not quite aligned here, so let's uh, just click here like this, down, down, and now you're aligned vertically. Now you want to align horizontally as well. So choose some object here, let's see, and there you go, that's pretty good. Now the object that you choose to use for your alignment should be the subject that you're interested in focusing on in, in the frame. So that's why I'm using uh, this person here. If you, if you were using this tree over here, you might align it differently. Or the mountains in the background, or these posts, or this pillar here. Now where the colors come together and you, you can no longer see any border, that will end up as the plane of your screen. Where they're separated here, like this, that will recede into the distance. And if you have something in the foreground, they will also be separated, but in the opposite direction. Those things will be coming out of the screen towards you. Now you might have a lot of footage that you don't really need, so we want to cut that off. So you use your slider down here again. And move to an area that you don't want anything here. And we cut off this section after here, with this icon. And something before it, we might not want. We move back here, and we can cut off everything before this section with this icon. Now over here we have our 3D modes. We have several 3D modes that you can use. This is the 
color anaglyph mode that you will use with the glasses that came with your camera. If you click on that, it will change to, to black and white anaglyph. Click again, we'll change to left and right. That will give you side-by-side -side left and right images. It won't look like this on the main screen. This is just for alignment purposes. What you'll get will look like s similar to what you have on the top here with, with two images side-by-side. -side. You also have the right and left version, which flips these two images. So the left is on the right and the right is on the left. That's for cross-eyed viewing. Now the left and the right, or the right and the left, can be uploaded to YouTube and make use of YouTube's new 3D video application. And that application allows you to choose from many different 3D viewing methods, including anaglyph, color anaglyph, and several other modes. But you need to upload as left and right or right and left, so that's how I prefer to do it. All right, let's see these icons over here. This one is pretty obviously a save file. You can save your project here. It will save all of your settings, all of your cuttings, your modes, and everything. Here is the help file again. This here will reload the file the way it was at, as you last saved it, so any editing that you made since then will be lost. And here is your options. Let's click on that. Alright, here once again you have your 3D mode. You can choose from the four modes that we have. Here's the compression quality. should always choose high quality and low compression. This one we'll be taking out soon, so don't worry about that. Here is your video encoder that you should have installed when you first installed your program, the FFD Show Video Encoder. Now that also has some options that you access by clicking on this box here, Show Dialog. Be sure that you have this slider here set all the way to the right to give you 100% quality. And OK. And save. OK. All right, now we're all synced. We're aligned. We're all cut, front and back. We have the rendering mode set. Over here is the brightness and contrast if you need to adjust. And here is the render icon. We click on this to begin rendering. Save your file. Let's give it a name. Render1. And save. And you can see here you are, left and right together. That's how the final file will look. Now once you've rendered your video in our software, you want to edit it again with your own favorite video editing software. But be sure you always use the 16 by 9 aspect ratio because that will give you the, the widest screen and the best quality. And then when you upload to YouTube, to take advantage of YouTube's 3D application, you'll need to insert certain tags that will launch this application automatically. I'll show you those later. And if you've done your tags correctly, you'll get a drop-down menu here below the video that shows all the 3D viewing methods that you'd ever like to use. All right, this is the red and blue, the most common. This is red and blue optimized called Dubois. It makes it a bit easier to view and the reds come out better. Here's the black and white that you saw before. Sometimes you get uh, blue and yellow glasses, or amb amber and blue, and th those are also good for viewing red. Okay, this is the parallel and the cross side, and just the left image or just the right image if you want to view it in 2D for some strange reason. And if you have an actual 3D monitor, you can use one of these modes. I want to get one of those. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Remember, the most important things are to get your videos in sync, get them aligned, and render them right.